Um, welcome to MC Podcast, aka Men of Culture Podcast. Yo, still my line again is crazy, bro. He don't learn. It's all right, go. I'm sorry. It's of course happening now. Um, in this video today, we're talking about. We're gonna talk about the. Uh, we're gonna have a list of animes that have the craziest plot twists and the craziest twists, and we're just gonna list them off to you. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. All right, the uh, first anime that I want to talk about is School Lives. Um, this one has a pretty interesting twist. They actually really do a great job at adding this twist. So basically, like... It's about these female characters. And I, I know the first thing y'all think, all oh, female characters, they suck. Not all of them. It's actually a pretty good, interesting anime where basically this girl, she's messed up in the head because a zombie apocalypse happens. And so basically she see, she's she's like mentally breaks and she doesn't, she thinks she's at school and everything like that. All the situations that happen, they're actually like all the other girls around her, they're like, they're just playing into it because she know, they, they know like she's mentally fucked from this like zombie apocalypse happening and all the situ things that happen to her throughout the show um like they are just basically covering for her but these are actually real situations that they're actually trying to survive in. And they're like one of the last survivors of the zombie apocalypse so it's a crazy twist that like you probably see a little bit there's hints of it but there, it, it just rips the bandy off of that the, the main female character and it's just a crazy crazy twist it's unbelievable all right i'm gonna hit you guys up with an anime called school days like yo when i tell you this is the craziest like all right so basically there's this guy who likes this girl right and they they have a thing going on they grow together little by little and this other one girl is introduced and basically it's a friend of uh, the male lead who also has a girlfriend and kind of they kind of grow together as well and he kind of gets with her and chooses her over his concurrent girlfriend and you know what usually it'd be like oh this is a big fight no she grabs a knife stabs this motherfucker and he's just dead on the 12th episode you're sitting there like yo did that just happen like she goes from a normal anime and it just snaps instantly you're like bro what just happened it's the craziest plot twist in the world and i know it's kind of like a little hard for you guys to watch it after hearing that but if you see it and you watch it, you're just gonna be so surprised, and it's just the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, how do you take a romance anime, do all that for 11 episodes, and just kill the, kill the main character? I mean, she's a savage, she's going to jail, but yo, that was crazy. That's a crazy bitch. <laughs> crazy bitch, yo. All right, next one on this list is Steins Gate. Now, look, if you watch Steins Gate, you are possibly a man of culture. You know some good shit. Now, if you know Steins Gate, Steins Gate, it's a slow burn. It starts off real slow. Like, For sure. first few episodes, you're fucking with the cast, each new character coming through. The whole vibe is all great. So basically, um, they're able to um, time travel. Or it's a pseudo type of time travel. Or go back in the past, really. And so when they're doing this, they're really moving to different parallel worlds. Because they're like different world lines. So it's more of like a parallel ship more than time traveling. Um, so basically as the, as they're able to achieve these, uh, types of things, they're doing, they're making requests on certain things, like, hey, go back and change this, go back and change that. And then all of a sudden, uh, Stern, Cern, Cern the, 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 the hydrogen collider shit that we all talked about, that's gonna make a black hole and shit like that, I think it's called Cern, they come every single time and kill the same person. Now, it's one of the main characters, like, she, she a day one, she, like, hold that i'm talking about hold that dog down like she a day one she been with him since a since he was a little jit a little yoked and like he like he goes back in time over and over and over and she keeps dying every single time and every world line she goes to and he does this multiple times she dies over and over again so like eventually he's able to save her right and uh to make matters worse to basically his uh i'm basically his girlfriend or like not, 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 they romantic don't, interest Romantic interest Yeah She ends up Start getting murked Every single time So he's in A, a, a conundrum And uh, eventually 
when you watch the show, you'll see how he figures it out to save everything. But when the um, when CERN comes in and basically kills um, his day one, his uh, little child friend, um, he tweaks out, man. It's just such a shock because you don't see it coming and it's all happy go lucky. And it really starts off, it really turns into something like ReZero X, honestly. It's like this Stein Gate was before ReZero. And um, this is definitely has a lot of similarities to how ReZero was. Dude's like desperate as fuck. And like, it's a really interesting anime. Big, great twist. One of the best animes of all time. Top 25 at least. Wow. Hey. Next anime on this list is Higurashi, uh, When They Cry. This one is also, uh, it's a slow, a slow start. Um, starts off, most of these animes really like this, like the low, you just like rock a bye baby, basically. Um, you come in the first episode, you see that um, a group of friends, they're really real close knit, like all oh, they're it's like middle school days, so you know how friendships are like close knit, cool what you cool one another, y'all always just hanging out, doing crazy shit, dumb shit, doing dumb shit, and everything's good. But um as the show goes on, there's this thing I, I really don't want to go too much involved because it's best when you go you come in the show blind. But let me just say that Paranoia and um, paranoia is one of the biggest key factors in the show and the main character Begins to distrust his friends. They think his the main uh, His friends are trying to kill him like they're just doing some shady shit and he's really he's re It's really in his head that they are trying to like it's been it's getting in his head that they're trying to kill him He doesn't trust them. So like he's really getting paranoid he thinks he puts they put shit in his food like a needle in his food doing all types of stuff so he's getting more and more suspicious and really it's like them being concerned or just about like his well-being because he's starting to tweak out a little bit and he makes decisions that are quite deadly um to the these characters and um it's some crazy shit like Higurashi is a is a is a series of just like crazy events happen so I spoiled this initial part for you but when you, the more and more you watch a show, every single time your heart is to jump out like what the fuck. So um, yeah, that's a show that's gonna really, really, really mess you up, man. Hey, all right. Um, uh, we're talking about some major spoilers here. This one's from Berserk, so just a heads up. Um, but basically, there's this guy, obviously the main character Guts, and uh, he's basically kind of like a mercenary in a sense, and he kind of finds this kind of brotherhood and relationship with this guy called Griffith, and he's like the leader of kind of like this mercenary group, um, where it's, it's really like a brotherhood, they're there for everything, they're fighting for each other, saving each other's lives, doing everything like that, and there comes a point later in the show where this, this main character and, and Griffith um, have an altercation because Griffith summons the hand of God and summons a bunch of minions, and basically he wants to become a god because he craved the power to be stronger and, and basically Gus was super strong and, and he basically wanted just this, this omnipotent power um, and he just craved power in general and he kind of betrayed all his all his friends, the mercenary, betrayed Guts and it was kind of the craziest thing because you see these guys develop over time, over a very long uh, like period of time, chapters of chapters and it's just switched like this and it just shows how some people could just show uh, hide their uh, true feelings and their true colors and, and bring it out when when you least expect it and not only that but he actually his girl that he was with the whole time he her in front of him and he basically literally was the opposite of how he portrayed himself he was kind of a saint and he was somebody who was like you know someone you saw as like a very nice guy thinking about everybody and boom he was just he was just craving power and he did everything it, this is like you're like what just happened yo and when we come to plot twist like this is just like this so like he became like the main villain when you were when he was just by gut side the whole time and it's just like wow like you that's the reaction like that, might, like, that got me a little tight right now. i'm like let me shit yeah and <laughs> that's right, crazy. right in front of him and uh yeah get back out of me get back get it back crazy, crazy, bro. Hard, bro. Berserk, definitely top five so yo Shit's fine. That's all I can say. Next anime on this list, um, biggest plot twist, Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works, done by none of the, the best studio, Ufotables, um, this was produced in like 2014, animation still top tier, even to this day, 
Now, I'm gonna spoil basically the ending of Fate Stay at Night. So, um, I'm gonna play works. If, you have, if you're a Fate fan, you obviously know Shiro Emiya. And he wants to become a hero of justice. And it happens that Ren Tosaka, the, uh, basically the main female protagonist, uh, she summons Emiya, basically um, his future self or an alternative timeline of himself. And there, there's quite distinct, there's, there are quite a bit of distinct differences that happen in both their timelines. But one of the biggest things that both of them want to be was a hero of justice. Uh, Archer, aka Emiya, the hero Emiya, becomes that hero of justice when he becomes a crown of force warrior agent, basically. The way the world of fate works is that there is a guardian force that is forced to protect Earth in any situation. So if humans are doing some dumb shit that's going to end the world, they are for he's forced to some be summoned and come out. And basically, he realizes from allying and being like basically tying himself to that, like he does it for the rest of his life, all eternity, that like he just kills and kills and he just becomes a murderer where he's just killing a bunch of people and he's realizing there's no real meaning to like doing this stuff and he blames that the the dream that he had on his father um and basically when he gets a chance to come to the grail war grail war he sees the opportunity to like yo i'm gonna kill my 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 old self so that i could possibly get out of this loop of forever being uh, a murderer uh so like he tries to do that and uh it was a really huge twist because you never really saw it coming and it's really answers uh, ask the question to yourself what would you do if your future self came to you and was like, yeah, the, the, your dream is fucking shit. And like, well, how would you deal with that? And that's a huge, it was like one of the biggest twists. I think it's one of the best fights in anime. One of the most compelling, interesting things ever. So uh, yeah, great, great anime to watch. W series overall, get into fate, learn fate. And uh, let's get to the next anime. That's a W. Uh, I got my next one's Chainsaw Man. Uh, Cliff got a lot of time earlier. Wait, wait, uh, can we get the time button? This is a manga spoiler. Manga spoiler. Sorry, I'm sorry. This is like this is this is uh, this is bigger than any of the spoilers we're doing. This is a manga spoiler. Beware. All right, it wasn't exactly subtle, but basically Makima is actually one of the main villains of this story. But she's a bad uh, editor. Kolo here. Um, I'm not gonna put any visuals in, like no manga panels or anything like that, because um, I'm gonna have to spoil myself and like do research and i don't want to do that like i want to be anime only i want to be surprised to see what happens so i will not put any visuals this will be a straight talk group i apologize but i can't do this to myself she's a bad bitch she is a baddie but that's the point like you could tell like straight away like there was something going on with her from the get-go and the way she treated him and like literally like a dog like like we love we love um we love makimo but like you could definitely see that dark shot of her and obviously she kind of like once again hides her true her true emotions her true feelings and uh kind of close to the show and this is obviously a manga spoiler so but she is very malicious bro she is fucked up bro and i know she was like there for denji a lot of the time but bro when you guys see like how how fucked up she is, you will realize, dude, that this is one of the biggest plot twists in the mangas and animes because you, you once again, this is one of the people who grows with the main character, who gives the main character hope and, and, and like ambition and incentive, and then she kind of turns out to be somebody who's actually the opposite of what she's portraying. And uh, crazy plot twist, she's a baddie, uh, but it's sick, bro. So if you, if you guys are like. <laughs> I feel so bad, bro. It's a manga spoiler, but fuck it. It's crazy. I mean, I, I saw it coming. I saw some shit. It wasn't right? subtle. Like, you know she was she was doing something weird. And but, usually that means, like... But honestly, I want to say the shit... Denji being treated like a pet. Honestly, Denji seems like the type that's just way too chill about letting females do whatever. And, uh... Bro, he, wants, he just wants some cheeks, bro. It, he's a simple person. That's why I fuck with him. Editor... Editor Kalil here. Um, yeah, so I made a mistake. Um, uh, basically, part of the video file, for whatever reason, is like corrupted, and um, I deleted the footage that I had of the original video. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! We had more animes to talk about, but I messed up, 
So, uh, I'm just gonna end the video right here. Um, these are the animes. They had a pretty interesting plot twist midway. And these are pretty fire anime. I highly recommend you to watch all of them. And, uh, depending on this time of video, hope you guys had a really good holiday. Hope everything went well. Um, possibly Happy New Year's, depending on when I drop this video. Uh, that's basically it. MC Podcast signing out. I apologize for the mess up. See y'all later.